In the Old Testament, God chose to dwell in the tabernacle and later in the temple. In the New Testament, we see that God no longer dwells in the temple since he was the one who tore the curtain of the temple from top to bottom. Now, 1 Corinthians 6 tells us, Do you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You were not your own. You were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God with your body. When you invited Jesus Christ into your life, you became a temple of the Holy Spirit and a part of the body of Christ. Now, another scripture that references this truth is found in 1 Corinthians. Do you know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him, for God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Now, when we remember this, that we were bought with the precious blood of Jesus and that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, which was placed in us by God himself, it should make us want to honor him with our lives. And this reminds me of a song that I grew up singing. It says, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Now, I've always loved that song. But let's talk about being a sanctuary. First, what is it? Well, Webster defines it as a place of refuge and safety. And from a biblical standpoint, a sanctuary is a holy or sacred place, the most sacred part of a place of worship. So in essence, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary means, Lord, prepare my life to be a sanctuary and a holy place of worship. Our life has real purpose when we live each day to bring glory and honor to Him, no matter what the circumstances of our day may bring us. But as a sanctuary, God wants us to be a safe place for people in our sphere of life to experience God's love. And he wants us to be his hands and feet, a refuge for those who are hurting and burdened, an extension of his heart. In everything we do, God is present. If we live our lives with this in mind, I think it might change the impact that we have on the kingdom, don't you? Now, how pure and holy is your sanctuary? Is there an area of your life where he has been calling you to obedience or leading you to give more of yourself to others in need? Today, I want to encourage you to think on these things and throughout the week, asking God to move in and through your life so that you can be a living sanctuary for him. Let's pray and worship together. Heavenly Father, may we be a living sanctuary for you. Father, may we strive to please only you, Lord. I pray that you would call us to obedience, to do that thing that you have called us to do, Lord, to maybe start something or maybe stop something. Father, whatever it is, I pray that we would be open, that we would have eyes to see and ears to hear your voice, Lord. We worship you now. We love you so much. And it's in your name that we pray these things. Amen. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary.
thanksgiving I'll be a living sanctuary